again, it's Priscilla Patel. Welcome back to part two, because my camera is having a few malfunctions and shut me down. So I'm just going to go back to working on this and telling you guys what I should tell you at the end of most videos that I didn't tell you in the last one because I got cut off, which is I do sell my artwork. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill. Under the, under the video on the Amazon link, you will find all kinds of cool tools if you follow the link. And I told you about my book. I know I did that. I was thinking about tilting this, but I hadn't really made the ultimate decision to get busy doing it. Um, I kind of wanted to drag the, the silicone spatula through the piece just for the fun of it. I'm going to call it Colored Rain. I think I remember that. Um, before I got a little tweaked. I heard the camera click off and I'm like, not again. I definitely have to order another adapter. It's just that I've been through four. Anyway, I think the, the topic at that moment when I got shut down was the fact that it takes, takes some inspiration to find enough things I can do in 20 minutes. So this is not going to have to be that one. I've got a few extra minutes. And hopefully it won't take even that long, and that'll be all right with me. But uh, I don't like having you guys having to be stuck with all those commercials in between, so that kind of... Hmm, whatever. So when you watch the commercials, you are a big help to me, but the biggest help of all is honestly watching more of the video, because that tells the YouTube algorithm that I'm worth placing, and they place me in places more people can find me, which is, would be really awesome, because out of the 84 subscri 84,000 subscribers, that I have on my channel, most generally 1% in a day are watching, maybe. Now I could use squeeze bottles and do something else, but I think I want, oh, you know what? That's kind of nice negative space in there. That breaks up the pack a little. And so I'm not gonna do anything with that. Love my colors. They're not getting muddy. Wondering if tipping is a good idea, thinking it's probably not. I don't have to clean off my spatula in between from one color mass to the next. Gotcha, you little thing that does not belong. Um, I've got enough lines, and I can just tap. I could just keep filling in with texture, and that would be kind of neat. I do like that negative space, so I don't know what to tell you about that. This is just a really different piece. And those little dishes are the thing that makes all the difference to me. Because I use a more limited color selection, and then I change up what's, what the patterns are happening. It's, a, it's kind of a new concept for me. Well, at least as far as fluid art goes. So let's have a little bit of a tilt for a second. And see what happens, if anything. Not a lot, but I might get something over the edge. I might change the shapes of my drops back and forth. Let's go back the other way. I didn't mind the round ones, but I don't mind them becoming stranger shapes. Whoa, do not drop the canvas. I'm getting enough paint off the back. So that's not bothering me, I kind of like that. It just um, it changes things up a little bit. I'm trying to keep it keep everything in line with the uh, trajectory that the original marks had, but I'm also getting to uh, have some of these colors flow over the end, so I make a cohesive pattern over the edge of the canvas too, and that's kind of neat. All right, so I'm going to torch and tell you guys whatever I forgot to tell you, which isn't probably much. I have Facebook groups: Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for fans and collect. Oh, for for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, fans and collectors for fans and collectors. Um, do I want to put any more marks in there? I kind of do, you know. Maybe I'm not entirely done. So that'll be a very quick part one and part two. Each of them short. So that is just kind of too neat. I don't know about this here. I, I need something. I'm going to give me something. I'm going to take some of the most gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I'm just going to take some and then use my edge. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm happier with that. I can't believe I put white in all of those and that's a nice big splooge of white and everything and that's all I got out of there. All right, I'm gonna cover that back up again. I'm gonna torch this to release the bubbles in the paint. I think I'm going to take a little bit of black paint right here because I see canvas and I don't want to see canvas. I'm gonna wipe off my spatula and use it anywhere else I see some of that happening and not worry about it. So I'm gonna to torch, like I said, to release the bubbles in the paint. Touch up my edges. I haven't really done anything like this before, so this is an experiment. And it was a fun experiment, one worth making for me. I got plenty of colors left in those dishes. I see something there. Less a lump and more a bubble. So I have all kinds of stuff. If you want to help me out, there's a drawing every month. And if you go on the end screens, you'll find the exhibition video that shares the prize information with you. There's a $10 minimum donation. And uh, in December's drawing, there will be a book, a calendar, two 16 by 20 paintings, and an 8 by 10 painting. Something might strike your fancy. And that would be very helpful to me, i got to say. I've even included an option for Canadians who visit the United States if they happen to win the drawing to come and have a free class. And uh, Canadians also may win an artwork if they're interested in paying for the shipping. I haven't checked it out, but I never heard anything good about the amount of money it costs to ship to Canada. So pardon me for my paranoia. I love you guys. I think I said there was 84,000 of you. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard going, it might need not be a masterpiece, but it's kind of cool and it might make some really neat leggings. <laughs> and I love you guys. And uh, please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. And if you're looking for more of my videos or tomorrow's video, look on my channel, find my face, click on it if the little hand goes across, and go to playlists, open created playlists, and open created playlists once that menu drops down. And you will find eight lists of 100-ish and one list that's being compiled of the 900s, and all kinds of genres. So you might have some fun there, and uh, binging helps me out. So I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Hope you come again. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. There's almost always a video tomorrow. And I'm thinking about memberships, so anybody who has any constructive ideas about that, let me know, because there could be all kinds of neat perks from doing that if I can convince myself that I don't have uh, a lack of time. You know what? I see that over there, and I want to add some, some color to that corner. Just a little bit. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful Christmas or whatever, whatever holiday season it is where you are. And I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out in Spring Hill, Florida. And I give classes at the house. Bye now. Anon.